Hey Busy Bees, it's Zong and today I'm excited to do a Trader Joe's haul slash snack review video. It's been a while since I've done one of these haul videos and I did a lot of them during my 30 days of eating, healthy eating and living series and you guys seem to really like them so I thought why not. These are new items that I found from Trader Joe's and if you guys want to see more of these haul slash snack trying videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below and we'll go ahead and get started. I got some really fun things that I'm super excited to try. Most of these are on the healthier side. Um, of course I found some really indulgent items too, but we're gonna start first with matcha because honestly, who doesn't love matcha? And you guys know I am obsessed. I found this new matcha green tea mochi ice cream, which is gonna be perfect during the summer. I think this might be like a new brand that they're carrying. I've tried that other one. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It comes with like cherry or strawberries, vanilla, and matcha. They have like three different boxes of those, but this one's new. So this one, ooh, there's a lot in here. There's eight mochis in here. For me, I like to let my mochis thaw a little bit and they've been sitting out for like five minutes, so I think they're perfect. Mm. They're a little smaller than the old brand that they used to carry, but that's okay. I feel like this is just the right size for me. It's a snack. Upon touching it, just touching it, it's soft and I can tell that it's gonna be chewy. Mmm. 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 Okay. All right, I can definitely tell why they made this switch because this one is so much better than that old brand that they used to carry. The outside is nice and chewy and the matcha ice cream is very potent. There's like that nice matcha flavor and it's not too sweet at all. This is exactly how I like my matcha mochi ice cream. One busy bee thumbs up, two. Mm. That packet will not last long in this household. Let me just put it that way. All right, the next one I have is another matcha item that I found, matcha Jojo's. Jojo's are Trader Joe's version of Oreos. And it's really interesting to see a matcha flavor. Here's the packet. We have that vanilla cookie with matcha filling. You guys, I'm getting all the indulgent items out of the way so we can go into the healthier items next. There's substantial amount of filling. All right, honest review. This is good, but I don't taste any matcha flavors. There's like maybe a tiny little subtle hint, but it was nothing compared to the other matcha ice cream. And I honestly don't think that, I definitely don't get that grassy, earthy matcha flavor. To be honest, I think they just kind of added a little hint and maybe a little bit of dye to make it green to fool us into thinking it's matcha. This one, unfortunately, is a thumbs down for me. But I mean, if you like uh, vanilla Oreos, I think this is pretty much what it is. I'm just gonna finish this. Next up is this new item right here, the Crispy Crunchy Mochi Rice Nuggets. This is what the package reads. Made from the same glutinous rice as a soft and chewy, sweet Japanese favorite, Mochi, Trader Joe's Mochi Nugget hits the other end of the spectrum. These are light, crunchy, crispy, and savory and make a delicious snack. Mm. This year I made a goal for myself to cut out chips. So I haven't really had any potato chips. I used to be like a potato chip fiend. So I really had to kind of wean myself off and I'm finding other alternatives. I've really been into rice crackers lately and sometimes I'll put avocados on top with their everything bagel sesame seasoning. Or sometimes I'll put peanut butter with um, raspberries. Ooh, whoa. This is what it looks like. So definitely, I feel like this looks like a popped mochi, like kind of like popcorn, but mochi. Mm. Mm. This is delightful. Have you guys ever had those Asian um, cracker mix? It has like that sushi thing and then like the green wasabi peas. 
This tastes like one of those um, cracker mixes that like very light hint of saltiness with, it's very interesting. I don't know what that flavor is, but it's really delicious. I give this one a two busy bees thumbs up. The next one I found is this crispy, crunchy okra. I'm a fan of okra cooked, raw, crunchy. Who knows? Let's give this a try. This reminds me of those um, crispy peas snacks they have. They're literally whole okras, and I'm not sure if they bake them air fried or actually oil fried. This was made with rice bran oil. So if you guys happen to know, let me know. Mmm. Mmm. They're light and airy. You definitely get that okra taste. So if you guys love okra, I highly recommend this. Or if you don't like okra because of the texture, the sliminess, this doesn't have it at all. It's just light, airy, lightly salty, and has that hint of that like nutty flavor. I really recommend this. I give this also two busy bees thumbs up. I'm going home in June for a road trip back to the Bay Area, and these are definitely gonna be in my snack bag. A new item, crunch dried Honeycrisp apples. The only thing that I'm a little bit bummed about is that these are not organic. Um, I typically buy organic apples. I was interested in these because I love their freeze dried fruits. Typically you would only find dried apples and they're kind of chewy. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I'm really interested in the crunch dried one because I love crunchy things. A substantial piece, kind of small, bite size. Hmm. In terms of texture, I would say it's a cross between a chewy apple snack and a crunchy snack. It's not super chewy, but it's not also super crunchy because I do get that little bit of chewiness in there, which kind of throws me off. I've had apple chips before and those are super crunchy, but this one only receives a one busy bee thumbs up for me. I could live with it or without it. I'm telling you guys, these are my honest opinions and reviews. So if you guys happen to like these, do let me know why. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. All right, the next one I found is something that's really interesting. Um, this dark chocolate toasted sesame caramel. I've really been into sesame lately um, just because I got tahini, I got perilla leaves, I got sesame oil. There's a lot of sesame things in my house, so I thought, why not add another one? Why do I have all those sesame things, you asked? Well, the tahini is because I make my own baba ganoush and hummus, and the perilla leaves were for the um, Korean barbecue feast we had for Erisi's birthday, and then the sesame oil was also for Erisi's birthday, so. This one is an indulgent one. So here's the chocolate, looks like a bonbon. Mmm. Mmm. Right off the bat, this gets two Busy Bees thumbs up. So there's three layers here. You get the chocolate. It's a pretty thick coating of chocolate. And then you get the sesame seeds or sesame layer and it has a little bit of crunch to it. You really get that sesame flavor out. If you guys like black sesame, like the Chinese dessert black sesame, I would compare it to similar to this. It has that nutty flavor that's just really unique and delicious. And then you have a light coating of um, caramel here that's not too sweet at all. This is a really great snack if you just need that chocolate fix. It's not too sweet and it's interesting. I love it. Like, this is better than chocolate and peanut butter, in my opinion. All right, next up are these protein bars that I found um, by Trail Nuggets Pro. It's energy and a protein bar. This one has cranberry orange beet and this one is chocolate and peanut. I think I will try the orange beet one because that's a really great combination, flavor combination that I love. This one is 230 calories, so it's a rather substantial snack. It's very dense. Mm. 
This one's actually really good. It's not sweet. It has a very um, strong orange flavor. So the orange rind or flavoring in this really comes through. I'm not too sure about the beet. Probably it just gives a color and I can see a little bit of beet flakes in there, but mostly I taste the orange. It's really good. Have this in your bag and I think it's a pretty substantial snack. All right, next up we have some nuts. Nuts are really one of my favorite snacks to have because they're filling, they're healthier, healthier fat, and they just taste good. This one right here is salt and pepper pistachios. I had never seen these before and I love the packaging. Looks really cool, so I thought I'd give it a try. With pistachios, I don't mind that there's a shell in there because sometimes I just pop the whole thing in my mouth and suck out all the flavors and then I'll like, with my tongue, I'll just crack it open or with my teeth. But to be a civilized human being, I will just crack it like this and just eat the meat. Mmm. Mmm. So upon first bite, I was really looking for the salt and pepper flavor because all I felt or tasted was saltiness, but then the black pepper just kicks in the back of the mouth and it comes through later. And now it's very hot. <laughs> I like it, I just wasn't expecting for it to come later or after the fact, but it's really delicious. It has the perfect crunch, um, very good, it's not like, it has the perfect crunch and it's very well roasted. I recommend this one. This one receives two Busy Bees thumbs up. Oh, I forgot to give the Trail Nuggets a two Busy Bees thumbs up too. This one is another rice bite, except this one is sweet and it has quinoa and cranberries. Oh, there's also almonds and cashews and pumpkin seeds in there too. I saw them, like the speckle of pumpkin seeds right here, which is why I looked up the bag again. Mm. They're very hard. I wasn't expecting them to be that crunchy. And they really remind me of a uh, Captain Crunch cereal. I'm not a huge fan of cereal and uh, this one is just an okay one for me. I only give it one Busy Bee thumbs up. I probably wouldn't buy it again. It was just super duper hard. I wasn't expecting that. I kind of think I chewed too hard. <laughs> my tooth but that's okay the flavor is nice it's very subtle it's light if you like like that uh cereal milk flavor this is what i think it tastes like next up is tomato basil hummus i know i told you guys that i bought tahini to make hummus at home but i had never tried tomato basil hummus before and i really wanted to see what it's like in order to either make my own or just try a different flavor so whenever I eat hummus at home, I usually enjoy it with cucumbers, um, chicken, or sometimes on my rice cracker, like the round ones. But today I'm just gonna be dipping it with um, Persian cucumber. Upon first inspection, this looks a little gloopy and wet. Hopefully it tastes good. It's an interesting flavor. It reminds me of a uh, vodka sauce. You know, the tomato cream sauce. It has a very pronounced sun-dried tomato flavor and I do taste the basil, but it reminds me of pasta sauce for some reason. I like it, but I think I prefer traditional uh, hummus a little bit more. Um, so this one only gets one Busy Bee thumbs up. Thumb up. This is very similar to the okra one, I imagine, but I love broccoli. I think that's my favorite vegetable, so I couldn't, um, I can't stay away from it. They're like whole broccoli stalks. I think I prefer roasted broccoli or steamed broccoli over these uh, crispy, crunchy broccoli florets. I almost felt like it expanded in my mouth once it, um, once I started chewing, so that's why it kind of took a while for me, but it felt like expanding foam in my mouth. The flavor is okay. It has a roasted flavor. It's not salty, at least to me, but I could live with or without it. I think I'd rather make my own roasted broccoli to enjoy as a snack. So this just gets one. 
All right, we're on to our last one, and this is an item that I have been buying every week, so I know it's good, but I definitely wanna let you guys know about it. This is New Zealand grass-fed sharp cheddar cheese. It's so delicious. So Aracy loves cheese, and Nate and I pretty much give her cheese for a snack or a meal almost every day. Um, we were giving her the Kerrygold Blarney Castle cheese from Costco uh, when they had it in season. It was so delicious. It was like a Gouda cheddar mix. <sighs> Unfortunately, it was a seasonal item, so we couldn't find anything similar until I went hunting for cheese at Trader Joe's. I just didn't want to commit to a big block from Costco, so I went to Co so I went to Trader Joe's and looked for a smaller sized one and I found this one. It's a sharp cheddar, which I really love and I fell in love with it. I almost like this more than the Blarney Castle. Mm. It's just got that perfect sharp cheesy flavor. And I love that it's grass fed too. If it was organic, that would be like the best cheese in the world to me. Mm. This gets like five Busy Bees thumbs up. Five. One, two, three, and then you guys. The texture is creamy, but not too creamy. It's just, um, it has a nice bite to it. I really enjoy it, and I hope you guys give this a try. I think they carry it at all Trader Joe's stores. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my honest reviews of these Trader Joe's snacks. I know a lot of you guys had expressed in the comment section in the mix series that for me to not stop doing uh, recipe videos and I will never stop doing that. On the mix, that will always be the first segment. There will always, always be a recipe videos um, on that series. And then throughout the week, I will try my best to do some fun weeknight easy meal ideas for you guys too. So next Sunday, we're gonna do a meal prepping, a work week preparation video on the mix, so I will see you guys then. Bye!